people continue to honor uh, the late Karima Brown and reflect on her contribution to South Africa's journalism, public discourse, and our democracy. And I'm joined now by journalist Sam Kokeli, who joins me uh, for his reflections on Karima Brown. I think that, um, uh, Sam, you are one of those people that would be able to paint a picture, a, a, a detailed and vivid, uh, intimate uh, picture of Karima Brown, because I suspect that in your career, not only did you collaborate, but actually in some instances you disagreed, but in all instances there was always progress. Hi, Chilasa. Thanks uh, for the opportunity. It is a sad uh, day uh, indeed, and uh, I think I could say I knew Karima the professional uh, fairly well. I'm now at the Arena Newsroom coming uh, to do this interview uh, with you, where we met uh, with Karima at a business day, where she was political editor and uh, I was the news editor. Uh, very controversial figure, a uh, very complex uh, figure, very uh, committed, uh, authentic, and she knew about all these uh, attributes and the, the difficulties she brought uh, to journalism. And one thing about her, she knew she was uh, an activist. Uh, journalism was not just a, a profession and a, a job. There was always uh, something uh, bigger uh, that drove her. She was big on uh, rights, uh, social uh, justice, uh, women as rights, and she called herself a communist, and which I often uh, joked uh, and laughed at her uh, for. How do you call yourself a communist in this uh, a day and age? And she proudly uh, wore all those uh, hats. And I remember one time she was uh, in the news quite controversially for going to an ANC uh, event uh, wearing the ANC colors and ANC hat or, or T-shirt, uh, clearly the branded with ANC uh, colors. One thing she always argued was that her background as an ANC activist uh, in the 80s and she was deep in, in the trenches. She says, I might come from the ANC, but at that it doesn't uh, mean that I'm going to be uh, less uh, objective when I'm interviewing an ANC uh, official or an ANC uh, representative. And she wore all those colors uh, with uh, a whole uh, lot of uh, pride. She made mistakes, and uh, a lot of them, I used to critique her uh, for her coverage of uh, the Jacob Zuma uh, era in initially. I mean, she accepted that. I mean, we, her and I are related at the point of difference. Uh, where we would have uh, clouds of uh, conversations in public and also in in, in private. Uh, she would get hurt uh, when she was uh, criticized uh, for her stances uh, on uh, various uh, topics. And she was often uh, very lonely or when she waged very important fights. Uh, I remember when she was doxxed uh, by the EFF, where her number was put out there for her to be abused and threatened uh, with rape. She was shunned by the media fraternity. She couldn't get uh, support from uh, SANEF. Uh, she had to find lawyers to go to court to take on the EFF. And when she won the cases on her own, uh, Sanef uh, was uh, proudly uh, brandishing the judgment, uh, saying it was an important, it was a landmark uh, judgment and a victory for media freedom. Yet this is a victory she earned uh, by herself uh, in a typical forthright, a fierce uh, nature and very, very authentic. Yeah. So, and you really describe her, Aptly, uh, Sam, and I must say that even on my part, there were many instances where I simply didn't agree with Karima Brown, right? But I liked the fact that we could have such honest conversations, uh, including on air, where we would, we would disagree openly on some of these issues, um, because that's what it's about, uh, the conduct of this democracy. But that's the public face of Karima Brown. I'm interested, Sam, in you're an editor uh, in terms of your design um, and, and the way that your career has flowed. I'm interested in Karima, the editor. Earlier on, I was talking about her black book, um, and other people have been reflecting about how she will send you messages, and, and sometimes relentlessly. Um, you need to explore this angle. You need to ask this question. You need to take it in this direction. It would be interesting for you to speak to that person. And I think that's the side of Karima Brown that not many people would have seen. Look, I I mean, my relationship with her in terms of the editing it comes from a, a different one, a very contentious. I was news editor at Business Day in the late uh, 2000, and she was political editor. Naturally, I mean, we called ourselves class enemies. 
uh, because a hair copy landed uh, on my uh, pages. So we often disagreed on the things she wanted. But I can tell you, she was very passionate. Uh, she led a team of what, seven uh, journalists in Joe Webb and the whole team in Parliament uh, that covered uh, Parliament uh, uh, for uh, Business Day. And she was very passionate. She led from the front. She knew what the big uh, stories were. And she always got at uh, the breaking news first. I mean, I've, then I replaced Karima as a political editor at Business Day. I respected her because those were very, very big shoes. And uh, she, he, he and I competed uh, all the time as to who was going to break uh, what news first. And uh, in the background, we'd pat each other on the back, say, well done, you scooped me here, uh, or Karima, you got this one right. She was very good in managing her contacts. Even uh, when I uh, it took uh, some time off to work in the government, I appreciated something about her, her ability uh, to chase uh, the big scoop. And I kept pushing it, say, Karima, you need to teach uh, journalism. And this is the one aspect of it, is breaking news. How do you stay on top of uh, the game and ahead of the, of the rest? I mean, if you remember during the, it was the end of the, the Zuma era, she was one of the leading journalists. If there was something happening in the ANC, NEC meeting, she would uh, get at first. And uh, politicians talked to her as much as people thought Karima Brown was uh, controversial. But everybody uh, took uh, Karima's uh, calls uh, from the president uh, to the most junior person. Uh, in, in, in the ANC. She was quite a dogged. Uh, she would never give up. She was like a dog uh, to a bone when she was yeah. chasing uh, a scoop. And also, she wrote about people she disagreed with. I mean, she was really uh, very comfortable with the F word. Uh, she would use the F word uh, talking to her contacts and uh, people. She just said, no, what are you talking uh, is rubbish. This is not how the ANC works. Or this is not what society is uh, about. So she didn't mind uh, losing friends as she did in the uh, uh, media industry. And for a reason, of course, that she made a whole lot of mistakes and took the wrong stances a, a number of times. Yeah. As an uh, editor, she was uh, the head of the editorial uh, unit, uh, the independent group. Uh, a lot of people left uh, that group and they, they were scarred. Uh, she uh, took decisions that were challenged at the CMA uh, and in court. You remember uh, Ali uh, Dasno at, at the uh, at, uh, Cape Times, who was uh, fired. Uh, quite controversially, and Alid uh, went on to win uh, the, uh, that case uh, at the CCMA. And uh, those were all the decisions that uh, Karima took, and she was yeah. criticized, uh, and rightly so. She was criticized uh, for, for those. So she wasn't just a kind of person that you could fit into a cookie cutter. Sure. Uh, she was very passionate. Uh, about all those things she did. Sam Kokele, I'm loving how honest your reflections on Karima Brown are and how you, you, you're looking at all the aspects and not leaving anything out. Uh, and as you talk about her ability to break her story and to work her sources, I'm thinking about those instances in the years 2016, thereabouts, where we would be together um, around this table at ENCA um, during one of those marathon broad broadcasts when issues were evolving and she would be under the table, uh, you know, busy typing a message to her sources. And minutes later, while you are in the middle of a sentence or she's in the middle of a sentence, she stops cold and she says, actually, this is what someone has just told me. And the story is broken in that way. Lastly, then, Sam Kokeli, having done all this reflecting on the life uh, of Karima Brown um, and, and, and some of the lonely journeys that she traversed uh, in this field of journalism and the stances that she took, the mistakes that she made, uh, the controversies she stirred and um, the successes she achieved as well as the setbacks that she, she achieved. What is the lesson of Karima Brown to the next generation of journalists in South Africa? Look, authenticity is the one thing I took uh, from uh, Karima's life. She was uh, authentic and fearless uh, at uh, all times, and that's quite an important uh, lesson uh, that could uh, be passed on to the next uh, uh, next generation uh, of our media professionals. And uh, telling your truth uh, was a lifestyle uh, to Karima. It was not a job. It's not something she did because she was uh, at work. She would tell me about... Uh, conflicts in her own uh, family where she would challenge her own uh, family uh, members about a particular thing, something political, it could be on an agenda issue. But also the COVID matter. Karima was an activist in, in, in communicating uh, COVID. She wasn't getting paid for it, and she worked as a part of a community which had the likes of Chris Vick uh, that saw that there were problems with how government was communicating uh, with regards to uh, COVID. She was very careful, and the colleagues at the Sunday Times this morning were reflecting on how careful she was uh, around 
around uh, COVID, how unfortunate that this is her own uh, path uh, ev eventually. So she was very passionate and she was a big picture. Journalism was only a part of uh, who uh, she was as an activist. She continued to be the activist. She was in the 80s that she was harassed mm -hmm. by the apartheid system and arrested for. And so it, she was not just a professional. And yeah. it is somebody who was not scared to make mistakes. It is a very important thing. You end up taking risks. And that's a very important uh, uh, lesson. But we cannot ignore uh, the, the issue of uh, that she was fallible. She made a whole lot of mistakes. Sam Kokeli, a beautiful and a fitting tribute to the late Karima Brown. Sam Kokeli, they're talking to us uh, about the life and times of the late Karima Brown.